Guys, trust me, it is one of the most important slides that we'll be discussing in our course, which is about key stores. It's really important to have this theoretical knowledge about key stores. Because whenever you are talking to any customers or whenever you are having some internal meetings, the different terminologies which are actually used in this slide would be really important for you. First of all, what exactly is a key store? So key store is nothing but a container that stores a TDE key or the transparent data encryption key. Now, I'd like to tell you that as Oracle has been doing from quite some time, they keep on changing the terminologies. Previously, these were called wallets. Now, we call it in the new world, we call it as key stores. So they're not uh, called as wallets, they, they are still key stores. But for your understanding, you can still uh, consider it as a wallet. Right, so now uh, the thing is that when you're talking about key stores, there are always two types of key stores. So as I said, key store is nothing but a container which is storing your TDE key or the encryption key, right? So now the two uh, types are either software-based key store or hardware-based key store. Let's take a look into the software-based key store. So software-based key store is actually further subdivided into three types of key stores, which is auto login key store, a local auto login key store, and a password protected key store. Password protected key store is like more common and for demos and all we normally use password protected key store and we'll, in our demos we'll, we'll be making use of the password protected key store. But we need to have an understanding around the auto login key store and local auto login key store. So a auto login software key store are protected by a system generated password. Guys, very important. It is a system generated password and do not need to be explicitly opened by a security admin or a database admin, right? Because if you compare it with the password based key store, you always need to open it giving the password and then you need to open the wallet and then you, or the key store and then you can work on it. An auto login software key store are automatically opened when accessed. So if you want to access this wallet, it is automatically open for you. Now you, you might ask, what are the use cases for that? I would say the use cases are the unattended scenarios, as we call it for say Oracle Data Guard standby databases, because you don't want your key store every time you're working on the standby database or you're building a new data guard, you don't want that operations of uh, say, giving your password, opening your wallet, because you want it to be auto login. The next one is local auto login key store. As the name suggests local, it's very important. It stays local or it's associated to its own server. The local auto login software key stores are the auto login software key stores that are local to the computer on which they are created. Very important. As we are saying local, they are local to the computer in which they are created. And lo local auto login key stores cannot be opened on any other computer apart from on which they are created, right? And you cannot use local auto login or auto open wallets in Oracle rack enabled databases. Why? Because you have multiple hosts there, right? And and also notice because only shared wallets um, in say like ACFS or ASM are supported for Oracle rack based uh, use cases. Uh, then uh, we talk about uh, the password protected uh, key store. As I said, this is like the most common one and much easier to work on. And this is something we'll be using in our demos as well. So a password protected uh, software key store are protected using a password that you create. So it's it's different from the auto login software where um, a key store where the password was system generated. In uh, password protected key, uh, software key store, it is actually protected by the password that you create as a user. And you must open this type of key store before the keys can be retrieved or used. So remember, whenever you're using the password-based um, protected key stores, every time you need to give the password and open the wallet. And remember, the software key stores can be stored inside Oracle ASM, it can be stored in Oracle ACFS, which is Automatic Storage Management Cluster File System, or it can also be stored inside regular file systems. Now we need to talk about hardware key stores. Now guys, uh, you, you might think, okay, if there were software key stores, why go for hardware key stores? Now the thing with software key stores are that 
the, uh, when you're talking about a key store, which it is still actually residing on the same computer or, or same, um, say, hardware uh, or, or your, uh, say, compute machine. That's why the, the regulators, a lot of the time, say that you should be storing your keys or managing your keys external to the database server itself. And that's how the picture uh, came of uh, the hardware-based key stores. So with hardware-based key stores, we have two types of key stores. One is HSM and other is OKV. So HSM, as the name suggests, it's hardware security module. So the hardware security module are third party physical devices that provide you secure storage for the encryption keys. Um, I can give you an example here. So a lot of companies use different kinds of uh, third party HSMs. One is like Vometric. And notice that the TDE master encryption key never leaves the internal FIPS boundary of the HSM. So it should stay within the HSM, even the master encryption key, right? And this actually explains why there is always a high network load when a database with high transactional load continues to send the data encryption keys to the HSM. So, that, so the HSM needs to talk to the database server and this can sometimes actually lead to performance issues. That's why Oracle came up with its own um, key, uh, say key store, which is the OKV, also called the Oracle Key Vault. So Oracle Key Vault is a software that provides continuous key availability and its scalable key management through clustering with up to 16 OKV nodes. So it's, 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 a, it's an amazing concept where they have uh, put in high availability and uh, they have taken uh, this into consideration. And looking at the market, what different providers uh, give you in terms of HSM, they have built their own um, HSM and called OKV. And it's actually purpose built for Oracle Database and its many deployment models like Oracle Rack, DataGuard, Exadata and multi-tenant environments. So guys, uh, with this, we come to the end of the lecture where we discussed uh, the key stores at length. You need to have good understanding about key stores, what are software-based key stores, and what are hardware-based key stores. So thanks for watching.